Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Leagues Reloaded video. So in the last episode, we finally unlocked our last area. We're now a proud citizen of Desert, Asgarnia and Fremenic. No more changes can be made. We are an archer and those are our zones. In the last episode, we also got to tier 6 relics and we got to unlock ruinous powers. But we didn't get to experiment with those powers at all yet. So in this episode, this is what I plan on doing. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty excited. Let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is talk to Ava, check for devices and grab myself two of the accumulators. This is going to stack with my ranger relic and start really protecting all of my weapons. I do want to do some soul wars to get good bolts. If I get good bolts, I then immediately start hunting for a rune crossbow. However, right now, the world is so full, you can't even get onto it. Uh, but this is my setup right now. I think we look absolutely cracked. I mean, we're talking Dorgi. We got an amulet of power, Sara full helm, Black Dehyde Vodi, Sara chaps. We somehow got ranger boots as well. And I genuinely think we could even run and do some DKs like that. Pyre fins. Wait, this is not bad, by the way. Because I can get superior creatures. First superior on the account. Infernal Pyre Lord. We're gonna get an imbued heart. It's gonna be insane. 22,000. For an adamant medhelm. Huge. AFK'd 200 plus U-logs. Which is now okay for... Well, I need to burn 100 U-logs. And then I also need to fletch a bunch of them. So I guess we need to train a bit of fletching now. But first... We got an elite clue scroll and it's actually doable. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Maybe I get a rune crossbow from it. I couldn't do the elite because it required me to do Fremenic exiles, but I could do the hard because it was just one step left and this could turn into an elite still. So we're just going to open this and see what do we get. One unique, two unique, and then three uniques and two alks. That is not too bad. Good morning. I did a little bit of skilling. And I'm questing at the moment. We got up to 88 woodcutting in the process, 68 fletching. And what I'm doing right now is I am burning and questing at the same time, trying to complete all the Fremeni quests in order to progress with my elite clue scroll. All right, I made my way over here to Isle of Souls because I need to get 100 flags, but also I managed to do all the fires for 100 U logs. Ladies, gentlemen, let me demonstrate to you something absolutely ridiculous. Oh my, wait. Wait. Nah. Bro. <laughs> Runecrafting might be my favorite skill in the game. This is dumb. And if I get to 77, I can then do Astras and actually do my quest that I can't do right now. There is craft 2500 essences. I'll go down to 5k I think. Our next step is to get 60 smithing and 60 slayer so we can complete Fremenic exiles. So that's what we're gonna do. Hey, that's 60 smithing and now I only have 60 slayer to go. There it is, we now have all the requirements from the Fremenic exiles. We will do it right after this task. And here's the big 70 defense, so we can now wear a lot of good stuff. We're talking Armadil, we're talking Need is Not Phase Guard. We will hopefully get that pretty soon. But that means no more long range. Long range is gone. We are now training strictly range till 99, probably, is what I'm thinking, or to at least like 90. Fun fact, I'm going through the list of things that I would need in order to complete the quest, and I have just about everything. Aside from the fact that I need one rune throwing axe, and... There is absolutely no way for me to get a throwing axe at the moment. I can get it from Dagon of Supreme, I guess. But that is really the only way. But even to get to that place, I need a rune throwing axe. So the only way for me to actually get it is if there was somebody who has Kandarin and Fremenic unlocked that would be willing to help me get into the DKs where I can then get a rune throwing axe as a drop, which is absolutely absurd. Whilst I'm trying to figure out the whole runex situation, I fleshed 100 U-Bows, which I can now comfortably alk with all of the nature runes that we somehow have. And in the process, I took a task of Hellhounds. We're going to do that very quickly. I might as well. Task completed, and we accumulated 8 Clue Scrolls. Let's see if we can complete any. 
Hey, that one came out of nowhere. 20 successful caramb ones in a row. And I think I got pretty lucky because I'm only 72 cooking. So it, as you can see, it's very likely to burn caramb ones three in a row. In fact, they're just to prove a point. Ladies and gentlemen, six hard clue scrolls. Hopefully some of these get upscaled to elites and we actually pull a rune crossbow or rune throwing axes. I don't even know if I can get rune throwing axes from elites. Let's see, what do we get? Start off with... Cyclops head. Magic longbow would be really good as well. This one is unfortunately wrong. Another rune X is nice because that means I can put the other one in the stash. This is Sara page. Also not very good. Very low amount of alcabas. Not a good start so far. Oi! There it is. There it is. This one's beautiful. Obviously we, we already got ranger boots. So this don't have as much of a value for me. But gothic scoif is really huge. Uh, we're gonna wear that temporarily. There we go. We still got three more though. We get a peach helmet and just a full rune starter kit here. Oi, okay, so Bandos item, Sara item. Another fire lighter. I mean, that's pretty decent again. Ooh, Sara chaps. This is huge. This is really good for Ziliana. Another unique, more sharks. Ooh, it gave me another one. Let's go. Okay, okay. And we got one more. Ooh, nice, and then armor chaps as well, and gothics dehyde body. Oi, wait, that's huge. And here we go. Oh my god, and it's another one. And we are just printing these hard clues, man. And it's a magic longbow. D today is a solid day, man. It really is a solid day, bro. Oi, wait a second. That's really good. So, right now, I'm actually... This is gonna be my new weapon, by the way. It may seem a bit silly, uh, but it's actually really good. Alright, so, this was not as bad as I thought. It took us probably around 40 minutes, but there is 73, and we should now be able to catch Ninja Impling. We're gonna grab some Entangles, and uh, actually go ahead and do that real quick. I do believe we will be strictly focusing on Ninja Implings, and just trying to get it done as fast as possible. I'm not really gonna bother hunting anything else. So, the goal is simple. Rune Throwing Axes. One more level. Okay, there it is. Um, a little bit of a problem fixed right there. 74. We can now actually catch ninja implings. All right, here we go. Here we go. Two ninja implings. Will it drop? Dagonoth hide, snakeskin boots, dragon dagger poisoned from from the thingy. That's actually pretty solid. It's mystic again. Snakeskin shits. Where we go again? There we go. Come on. More darts. Unlucky. Another chance. Dude, I'm mad, man. We didn't get the throwing axes, but there might be another way. I can try teleporting out, but I can't kill this. I can kill this. Can I kill this? So I can kill this too. If I just go on this side... Okay, okay, watch this. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna... I think it's gonna work. We're gonna teleport out of there. Back to Releka, we're gonna create Crystal of Memories, we're gonna go the other way around and we're gonna destroy this from that side. That's how we're gonna get in without throwing axes. And I'm just hoping it's gonna work. Okay, so, the moment of truth. Is this doable? So I can't destroy this, but I can do boom, boom, please, on God. Dude! Dude, we're in! We're in! Yes! Okay, I'm sure we can do this and go back. Please be doable. I mean, it looks doable, right? Start off with an Earth Battle Staff. Very nice. Oh, that's also a task, apparently. Alright. Hey, there's a first unique mud battle staff. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Oh, wait. Us getting that mod battle staff was actually 160 points, like an elite task, because I got an equip mod battle staff, which was 80, and then equip a combination battle staff, which was also like a lot of points. That's pretty good. That's already worth our trip here. I didn't even see. We got a dragon X. Yes, dude. I think I willed it and I spec with it. That's a, that's a task. Uh, I got basically everything I wanted. I, I'm going to kill one more and, and dip. I don't need to do this anymore. Here we go. The Jormungand. Oh my, he didn't make it. He tried his best. Don't look into his eyes. 
Dude, we're winning. That should hopefully do it. There we go. There it is. 50,000 Slayer. That's actually a lot more. 50,000 Crafting and a lot of Arun Crafting XP. None of this I really care about aside from Slayer. Which is actually really good because now our Slayer level is 73. Meaning we can now do Wyverns. And I can get a Rune Crossbow from Wyverns. Hey, let's go. Okay, that's Rune Dragon defeated. We get a Ref Rune as well. We grinded it out. And we have 3 Elites and 4 Heart Clue Scrolls. Almost 5. We were on the last step but couldn't complete because of the Rune Boot requirement. So this means it is finally time for a huge opening yet again. So let's just start with Hards actually. Start off with Hards. We get an Arma Full Helm, a Red Dehyde Body G, another Magic Long which is good. And all of these pages are really good as well. Rune Heraldic, this is amazing, this now with my Rune Square Helm Heraldic, whatever it's called, this now allows me to complete another clue, and this, Ancient Braces, is literally so good by the way, this is so good, massive update from Red Spike Event Braces to Ancient Braces, this is also gonna be amazing for Nex, this time we just get a Sara Plate Skirt and Ancient Full Helm, nothing too crazy but money still, and another one. And we got Holy Blessing, Ancient Blessing, Black Chaps, a Rune Dagger. This one is probably the worst out of all. Let me quickly go to the bank, get rid of it. Now for the fun part, three Elite Caskets. This could be huge. Start off with the Katana and some Tuna. Wait! We got it! Wait a second, I don't need to do anything crazy. We now have a Rune Crossbow. Which is huge. I mean, I have a fletching level. I was not too far away from getting it. But now I can actually go and demonstrate why the ranger build is so OP. Uh, we got a bucket helmet, Archaeus scarf, Zami page, Gothic's page. Pretty bad, but we got a bunch of pages. Can't complain. And another one. Oi! What did we get? A royal gown top. It's pretty bad. I don't know why I got excited for that. <laughs> Oh, the hits are so much bigger than with the Dorgi, by the way. And the specs are coming through almost perma. Obviously, I'm not gonna waste rubies until we are on bosses. Uh, realistically, I'll probably just use Runite Bolts, but yeah, this is gonna be chill. Oh, this guy dropped prayer pots. Hey, yo, thanks. We will try to kill her with poison. So we're just gonna use all our specs and just use the DDS, basically. I hope I am poisoning here. Uh, and she's poisoned. Okay, I'm not gonna hit again. So two more poison hits will kill her. So now we wait, basically. It's gonna take a bit of time, but it should be alright. So that's one hit, and then one more should kill her. And there it is, the poison kills her. So now we've done every task but the KC task. We get another mossy key on top, which is perfect. So now we just speed kill... Nine more times, hope for Briofta Essence. And if we get it, we're happy. And if we don't get it, we're sad. So, let's see how it goes. And there it is, 5kc. Briofta fully completed. I think that gives me some sort of points. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but now we're just gonna speedrun seven more kills. We're basically hoping to get the Briofta staff. We are winning. Briofta's Essence with five left to spare. Wow, that's beautiful, by the way. We got it. And that is... I don't even know how this works. I guess I need to put it on a staff. That is huge. Do I even kill five more? There's no reason to kill any more. I need to figure out how to attach this thing and use it to actually get the points. But we are completely fully completed with Briofta. Alright, so I don't have a single battle stuff on the account and I CBA to get it. So I'm just gonna speak to Zaf and I think if I give him 50k he will make it for me. Now we have a Briofta stuff uncharged. And if we equip it, it is beautiful. 80 points, that's a hard one as well. Out of the way, nice. Now that we have a rune crossbow, we unlocked an ability to do just about every boss in the game. Just a simple item changes so many things. So first thing I wanna do is I just wanna go straight to Kriara and see if I can grind out some armadil pieces. But also I could do that whilst training Slayer. If I go here into rewards, I have a little bit of a rewards. Let's see if I can buy Whenever you get an aviancy task, it will be a bigger task. Okay, so is there no way to unlock it first? There we go. Connor, Dura del Neve, Sheldar, and Crystalia will now be able to assign aviancies. That is good. There we go. We got a Mithril Grapple. So that is pretty much everything we need. We got a Sara on the Coif, a Zami on the Shield, Arma on the Chaps. We got Brazers. We got the Ranger Boots. 
for the prayers, we're going to be using the dampen ranged. We're going to be using metabolize, which is actually kind of interesting because the delay before you can attack after eating food is reduced. So I can eat and shoot basically one tick faster. And then range attack and range strength also big increase. However, I will be taking 10% bonus damage, but I think this should be good enough to kill Kriara. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Guys, we have an incident. I need 60 strength to open or 60 agility. I can't even enter it. I've prepared everything, man. I've prepared it all, bro. Here we go, here we go. We are ready, we got the KC. Now I hope that KC doesn't go down when you enter, like in last leagues. But even if it does, it is what it is, right? And we're going. Let's see if it procs. I need to be careful though, because I do not have that much HP to work with. That's the first spec. 42. Second one. Third one. Swap the bolts. Yeah, we're doing it. We're cooking. We're cooking. And we're just gonna do one kill, get out, come back in. One kill, get out, come back in. That's basically the strats here. My defense is pretty low and my HP is pretty low, so it's like hard to keep track. But very noob friendly, as you can see. Lots of spanks. We'll wait for the loot. We get frozen keepies. We get Grammy Dwarf weed. And we TP home. And then we pray and we come back. And all we're hoping is that our kill count did not get deleted. Because if our kill count got deleted, we are sad. But if it didn't get deleted, we are very happy. And the kill count is there. So we can do this all day, every day. This is going to be insane. Runite bolts. That's actually pretty good for us as well, by the way. Dwarf weeds again. We take those. Oh, well. In case we ever lose one, we now have another rune crossbow. Beautiful. It appears that the very first drop is a Dot Sword Shard 2, which I'm actually not against. This is a good drop because I'm not killing minions. All the God Sword Shards are actually really good because they are very rare. So this is good. And obviously we're looking for God Sword Shard 1 and 3 as well. But let's see if we can actually get an armor piece. We are 25 KC. So I believe we are now on the raid without calculations. I might be wrong, but I think we're now on the raid for Arma pieces. This is pretty good. This is really good. God Sword Shard 1 as well. We're on 34 KC and uh, no Arma pieces. So let's keep going. But this is a really good start here. What did I just do? 25 combat achievements. I have no idea what I just did, but I'll take it. There is another God Sword Shard 1. Very first dupe. I'll take it. It's not too bad. Hey, we got uh, Kriara Adept, so that's 50 kill count. Also, earlier I didn't mention it, but we didn't get the 25 kill count, but we got killing Kriara without taking any melee damage, so Flight Killista never hit, boss never hit. So basically, if I want to complete combat achievements at this point, I need 100 KC, kill it with a Black Salamander, and I need one kill where I kill all the Guardians first and then finish the boss, but I will be doing that once I have a little bit of a better gear. We got one bolt left and we made 81 KC and we got nothing to show for it. Lovely. All right, well, there it is. Uh, 100 kill count without a drop. There is 200 more. I mean, that makes sense, right? But then, okay, uh, I will obviously keep going. I mean, I want to get full armor and that's also points. Uh, it's just a little bit unlucky that uh, we didn't get it yet. We just got our first level 90. I'm going to assume it was range. So that's pretty good. I mean, we started it at like 80 something. I don't know exactly how much it was. We're now 103 kills in and we are now 90 range, which is, uh, you know, pretty good. So can't complain. Hey, sometimes, sometimes you just need to persist and grind through the dry streak to get it. There it is. Oh my, it's the best piece as well. Thank you, game. Look at it. It's beautiful. Boom. Oh man, 200 points for that. That's beautiful. I actually got so many points for just doing this, by the way. But there it is, the first piece. And I have power amulet. Oi, oi, oi. We go again. We run it back. We go for a back to back situation right now. There we go, back to back. Oi, it would be too perfect. It would be too perfect, man. Oi, there it is. There it is, guys. It's that simple. Just go dry, complain, get the drop. Two out of four completed. Alright, so I've done 150 kills in a row and we pulled away with Arma Helmet and Arma Chestplate. Now, I could use my luck and uh, stay here for a bit longer. However, what I do want to work towards is maybe upgrading my accumulator to an assembler. First Vorketh kill. This might be a bit of a mess. I don't know if I can pray range. Either way, I don't have anti-fire, so I'm going to get hit probably hard. But I need to see which way do I get hit harder. If I pray range or magic, we're just going to have to improvise and see. But maybe it slaps. 
That was range. That was magic, okay. Three in a row? Hey yo! Hundred, hundred, hundred! Okay, I'll need to do a bit more. I am a bit rusty, I'm not gonna lie. And my tile things aren't on. Okay, I mean, I can kill it pretty comfortably. So that's already good. And the loot should be really solid, so... I got Warcraft Speed Chaser, nice. That should be a lot of points, actually. That is solid. Ooh, and the first Dragon Bolt as well. These are going to be huge. Okay, that's a no prayer kill. And this was not too hard, actually, with infinite food. No problems there. Time for a very temporary small upgrade. Since I just got uncut Dragonstone for a drop from Warcath, I figured, you know, I might as well make a glory. So... Crafting it is a decent task, and now we're gonna actually charge it in the Heroes Guild. So I can put this to this, now it is a glory, now we can go here, now it is charged glory. Ah, there we go, much better. Nice. Wait, this one worked, by the way. How did this work? I felt like that was the worst. I'm so confused. Well, we got all the achievements we wanted to do at the moment. There we go, 15 kill count in, and we finally get a dragon plate skirt, which is, uh, there we go, it's a task, beautiful. 80 points for that, solid. I just pulled ruby ball tips, unironically, this then lets me actually use more ruby ball tips. That's huge for the account, no way, what? Okay, and we got dragon plate legs as well, nice. So this, this, more money, yoink, 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 yoink. Well, it's been such a successful stream. I streamed for 13 hours and now it is unfortunately time to have a little bit of a break. So we got Warcraft to 25, halfway done. I'm gonna alk a bunch of these things and I'm probably gonna get pretty close to the cash that I need. But yeah, I think right now I'm just gonna go chill and AFK uh, fish, I think, until tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning, I think I will return to Warcraft, return to Kriara. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I decided to do a little bit of Soul Wars right now because I want to get Ectoplasmata, very good points. And dude, it's so fun just with Runite Bolts with my Armadil set. It's actually like really, really fun. And uh, this seems to be the game where I'm going to get my first win as well. But also the goal for today still is to finish up Assembler and maybe even return to Kriara and do a little bit of that. So we got a little mage in here. I just want to demonstrate to you how nice this feels. I think we eat a little bit. And that's true prayer. He's chugging food. I'm gonna turn on this guy. <laughs> he got two hit. Uh, that's what I mean. Like it's when you see low level with this, it is so funny. And he's running. Alright, so this guy right here is trying to do a little bit of PvE. Let's see if we can smite him out real quick. One, two, three. He didn't make it. Uh, but yeah, super satisfying. As I said, a little bit laggy this world. But yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate how silly it is. I mean, look at this guy. 22, 36, 2, bam, dead. What about this guy? Need to pray range though, because on this prayer book, I take like 10% bonus damage. Oh my god, I just 3 hit that guy as well. And I'm smiting myself. I'm out of food, but like, they're all dying, so... Uh, but yeah, we already killed the boss twice, so this is gonna be our first win. I don't mind if I die, obviously this minigame is like, yeah. I will do this for a few games, get a bit of points, and then when I feel like it, I'm returning to Vorkath, and when I'm not feeling it, I will just do some points, because I do wanna go to the next relic, because it's gonna be super satisfying. I should basically insta buy ectoplasma matter let me just double check that that's actually a task and it is so let's go ahead and buy one ectoplasma matter that should be quite a lot of points very solid i think i just go into another game i mean i'll do this until 92 it's probably worth it uh, there is one more thing i can do whilst i'm stuck on this super laggy world and that is actually pest control so i can get myself void i can get some easy points 
let's go ahead and do it. I've fallen into a bit of a skilling trap, I think. So what I've been doing right now, if I've just been doing pest control and training crafting, and I went from like 82 to 87 crafting, simply doing this and getting void as well. So this is one of the tasks that I'm working towards. And I'm looking at these points and I feel like 3000 points is so easy for me to get right now. I've just not been focusing on it because obviously I've been prioritizing PVMing a little bit, having a bit of fun and whatnot. But I think I could easily nook this down even today. Now I'll have to decide whether I want to finish doing Arma and Vorketh and stuff like that first or if I just go for some points. Okay now for the moment of truth let's see if we need all the pieces of void or just one. Now since I do plan on training melee very soon I'm just gonna take the void melee helm because I don't have any melee gear just yet and if I wear all of this that is an equip full Void Knight set, so I don't actually need all of them, so that's pretty good. I've made up my mind for now. I'm gonna try to get as many points as quickly as possible for the next few hours. See how close to the next relic I can actually get. And the main reason for that is if I quickly take a look at the relics, and I know what I'm gonna take already and I'll explain more about this later, I get a big jump in the XP and a big jump in points received from a minigame. So realistically, I do want to push to this relic before really going on those long grinds. But first, let's speak to Gomel, actually. I've been doing some combat achievements. And let's see if he can give me some XP lamps. Now, there is one thing I wish I did earlier, and that is to realize that agility is a little bit annoying for me to train. And also, I need 70 agility for Zeliana, which I really want to do for the Armadil crossbow, now that we have a chance to actually use Dragon Bolts instead of, well, Armand or Rune Bolts enhanced. So, let's just go ahead and use a little bit of XP lamps on agility. 60,000, by the way. We do want to push this to 70 as fast as possible. Obviously, I don't have the trickster. Therefore, I can't just get this done passively. This is the easy diary completed. And if you guys know, this will allow me to do some cool stuff in the shops. Obviously, now we have a little bit of money. So a lot of points coming up ahead. Everyone that took farming relic is probably laughing at me right now. But here is the banana tree. And that's also a diary task. So I'll take it and a task apparently. I just got a gout tuber. But I need a spade for that. No way I actually got that. That's 80 points on top of that. And now I need to repair a full fence. And then the game should actually start letting me get the machete. So that, that's really insane actually. Finally, man, I hate these dialogues. It takes like, it's so annoying to make this. There we go. We now got an opal machete. Don't need this machete either. Because we got this one. Okay, so Karamja, man. Oh yeah, yeah. I hate this. I, I always struggle with it. This jungle card service just doesn't want to work for me and cut a log from a mahogany tree. Maybe it's gonna let me do it now. I don't really know what to do. I had a hundred favor. I had sticks. I come in. I click it. It doesn't let me chop it. Now it lets me chop it. So the solution was to start recording. Oh my, I'm such an idiot. I actually know what it is. Uh, I need to use the fucking card from Shiloh to... I'm such a... Maybe I should start reading better. Okay, easy and medium will basically be done here and we can claim a bunch of XP for probably agility. <laughs> there it is. Okay, easy, medium, done. Nice. Okay, now we got Karamja gloves. Now I can rub it for the first time, put it on agility, 12k, up to 56. Rub it the second time, again onto agility, 60,000, we're up to 59. All right, not bad at all. I used all of my money to buy 28,397 Chaos Rune and we're gonna go right here into the store whilst wearing our Karamja gloves. And now I need to sell it for Tokul. So a little bit of clicking. And we are left off with 327,000 Tokuls, which is actually a lot more than I expected to get. But there are a lot of tasks in this area. And I'm actually going to start right over here. First one, Obsidian Cape. That's a task. This is so, so silly that this is this many points, by the way. We're left with 183,000 total, which is not enough to buy an onyx. So I'm going to go alk a few things, craft a few gems and get this onyx as well. As you can see, only 2.6k points missing. And there we go. We scraped together just enough runes for 260,000 total, which is going to be very easy points. And as soon as this crafting goes to 90, it's going to be even more points and even better amulet. This is going to turn into a fury, probably very shortly, actually. But there you go. 260,000 onyx. Bam. 
there it is beautiful 200 points that's jelly as well and now for tura turof and kurask i don't even know if i need to kill them or not but we're, we're just gonna kill everything and this one is 50 points so just by doing that we now only have 2000 points left to go should be pretty achievable that should be both easy and medium tasks in Lumbridge and the Drain are also completed. I'm also going to do all the Varrock ones. Just make sure all the diaries that can be completed are completed and we get a bunch of XP lamps in the process as well. All right, here's my two rewards. Again, we're gonna chuck it into agility and we're gonna chuck it into agility. Now, after 70, I can pretty comfortably train it uh, through Polnivnich, for example, but before 70, I really don't have a great training spot. That's gonna be the Soul's Bane completed. We did that for diary. If we enter this, that should also be the diary. Then we just make Mahogany's and we are done with this step as well. Medium tasks also completed. Let's uh, go and uh, claim our rewards real quick. Here we are, our boy Toby. Two lamps going all the way into agility yet again. So that's 30,000 and that's 90,000. Up to 66 agility, that is basically perfect. We are almost 70. All right, and now for the final trick of how we're gonna go about getting a bunch of points, you probably already know. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in the Tazar city. So we are missing 2000 points, but first let's get the fire cape. I'm just gonna go in my range gear, nothing too special. I only have seven prayer potions on my account. So I just plan on praying protect from magic when there's a magic mob. And outside of that, I'm just gonna tank it and eat food because I have bankers No, I'm actually a bit of an idiot. I'm doing this on a 2000 fully populated soul wars world with a million ping. Okay, so I could probably take it, Jad. I know how to do it. I don't know, I don't wanna risk it, I'm, I'll be honest. So I'm just gonna do it nice and standard way. Make sure I secure the speed run. All right, so there's the fight caves completed. I think we also got some speed tasks. Yeah, so fight cave speed chaser, and uh, we can now equip the fire cape. And that's gonna be another task. And whilst we were doing that, we also basically finished the diaries for the Karamja. So if we were to take a look at the hard Karamja tasks, I'm only missing become the champion of the fight pits. And now we can do that as well. So pretty solid. Yo, shout out to my boy uh, Pivia. Anyways, for uh, helping me in the fight pits. And that will be hard diaries completed, I believe for another 80 points and a lot of XP and agility that we will claim soon. So there we go, the hard rewards coming in, Karamja Gloves 3 included. And again, one more time, agility. We're now to 68, almost there. But that, us getting the fire cape, wasn't everything this city has to offer. Inside, there are challenges. And if you just kill one jet, two jet, three jet, whatever, the challenges as they go on, each one gives you a decent amount of points. So that's what I'm gonna try to attempt right now, see how far I can go. And I know for a fact, after the relic choice, I'll be able to go even further. Uh, but for now, I might only be able to, let's say, do three jets at a time, I don't know. I've actually never done this challenge in the game. So we'll figure it out, we'll test it out, we'll see how it goes and uh, see how far we can go. So we were a proud owner of this infernal cape for a grand total of one minute and 13 seconds. We're gonna immediately sacrifice it because we will be doing Inferno at our earliest convenience, just not quite yet. And there it is, that's 200 points. So we did all of that, we got 400 points super fast, and now let's do the challenges. And as you can see, only 1.4k points to go. I think I can reach this easily. All right, let's see. I've never done this in my whole life of playing this game. So I guess we start off with the first one. I genuinely don't know what to expect. So I'm also using this prayer book because in case I mess up, I guess. Uh, looks like just first one is a one jet. Okay, so that's the first one, and I think every single one of these will give us points. Yeah, the start is 80 points. Okay, that's the second... well, that's two jets done. That should be... was that any points? Yeah, that was 80 points again. Okay, first attempt at triple jets. And that was 200 pointer, that's very good. Three jets were pretty easy, and now we got a thousand points left to get. I might as well try the four one, I've never done it in my life. Yeah, this will definitely be easier once I unlock the next relic, but since we need to get there, we might as well keep trying. I don't know what the fuck I just got. 
I think I got 95 range in the middle of that run. Okay, let's not choke this. Okay, and that was 4. I'm not even gonna attempt 5 because I know for a fact it's, it is just with this gear, let's just say I will struggle a bit, but when I have the next relic, it should be a lot easier. So that was 200 more, and now I only need to get 690 points. I know exactly what I wanna do to get that. I am banking on the fact that I can get a ancient staff from this guy for free. No, I had to buy it, but 80k for an ancient staff will be worth it. Not a task. However, I did just swap to a magic spell book. My goal is to get 78 magic. I have Dust Devil task. You can connect the dots. I guess I could just do this room only and that should also be okay. But there we go. First encounter with Dust Devils. And that's the first task. Cast an Ice Burst. And that's another one to defeat a Dust Devil in this dungeon. We're getting super close, only 500 left. Alright, there it is, 78 magic. It may seem like a weird level that doesn't really provide anything. However, if you enter Soul Wars and with a potion boost, I should be able to cast a Barrage spell right now. And with a Barrage spell, I definitely can then cast the Ice Blitz spell as well. And those are both point tasks, but obviously first I will go ahead and uh, finish my Dust Devil task over here. Alright, at the end of the task, we get a Choke Devil, 78 Magic, 77 Slayer. I had like 6, 7 Superiors, so really good task for Superiors. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another task and then get myself into a Soul Wars game. Alright, well, I'm gonna feel really dumb if this doesn't boost me to the level that I want. Please? 16, yes, nice. So I can cast Barrage, I can cast Blitz. Yeah, we'll just play this game out. Obviously, good points as well. We're only missing 570 right now, so let me just W key straight into someone. I, I forgot to change my prayers into the aggressive ones, so I uh, that that's a bit unlucky. I'm not hitting hard, but let's see. So I can do this, cast a little Barrage. That's a task. And where is that guy? I can cast a blitz on him too. Or that guy. Just come here, you. I cast it on you. I cast it on this guy. And that's another task. There we go, just like that. Now that we are already on the ancient spellbook, I have one more thing up my sleeve. But first I need to decide what I'm gonna do with all the zeal. We got 300 exactly. I think we just buy 10 spoils of war, I'm gonna be honest here. Nice, it's perfect, we got a bunch of them, let's take a look if we can get more bolts. This is good, rubies are amazing. I got a cabbage, what the fuck? And bones, okay, out of that, the diamonds are great, the rubies are great, the essence is phenomenal by the way, this is really good. Uh, as soon as we get upper rank, I'm gonna be using these for massive experience and a little bit of alcables. Oh wait, and we got a shit ton of edibles, I didn't even notice. That is amazing. First thing on the menu is going to be the Leviathan, but I forgot prayers. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. It's worth mentioning, I maybe have like five Leviathan KCs in my life playing this game and the one of the reasons why I took Desert is so I could practice and do a bunch of this boss and just get familiar with it. And it's also gonna give us some points, so I guess, no further ado, let's see if we can do this thing. Oh, he's packing like crazy. Alright, that was Leviathan defeated, that was pretty simple. For some smoke runes and 80 points. Okay, now let's just attempt to kill Maspa, I haven't looked at any guides or anything, so... I'm just gonna send it and hope I can just brute force it with my stats. Okay, that was pretty bad, but we got a kill done, which should be more points. And we also got charged dice, which I don't know what it's used for, but we got it. So now we are only missing 130 points, so let's figure out how we're gonna get that done. One of the easy tasks is to move this house to Releka, uh, but I'm going to also move it immediately back to Polnivnich because it's just where I want it. And this is the next easy one, picking one summer squirk. I will need to pick a lot of this in the future. I wish there was a one click mass going on, but that just leaves us with one simple task to go before we unlock the very next relic. And just like that, entering the bank is going to be the final task we will do in order to unlock the seventh relic. And I've been teasing these for a while because this is, I think, one of the hardest decisions that you can take based on relics. And let me explain why. 
Berserker is arguably one of the best options you can take. This, when you're low HP, deals ridiculous damage and you always max hit mobs when they are full HP. This is completely ridiculously strong relic, like really absurdly good. Then we go to Weapon Master, which, you know, if you combine this with a Zerite crossbow that we will have and you can spec it five times, it is absolutely ridiculous. So every 30 seconds, your special attack energy is restored by 30% instead of 10%. Combine that with a light better ring and you got an absolutely ridiculous combo. Then if you have no special attack energy remaining, you will sacrifice 25 hit points for the special attack instead. So basically you can use your HP for spec and then special attacks are 100% accurate against monsters. So you will always hit your specials as well. And then on top of that, as if that wasn't enough already, the special attacks also have a minimum max hit of 20% of your max hit. So Weapon Master, super ridiculous. And then you got another one, yeah? And we keep on going. And this one, Soul Stealer, is the one where all of your attacks have increased minimum hit, so you're always hitting 10% of your minimum hit. And then when one of your attacks successfully hits, there's 50-50. Whether you restore your HP and prayer by 10% of your damage dealt or not, right? So every single hit, and we're hitting fast, we can be healing prayer and we can be healing HP. And that isn't enough, right? The relics restore effect does not work for multi-target attacks, okay? That is basically, you can't be like barraging like multiple targets. And then this relics restoration effect will not work with the Scythe of Vitter, the initial hit. However, it will only work for its secondary hits. We do not care because we don't have Scythe. So this is actually the choice that I will personally go for. And I've been contemplating on this and I know that Berserker is better damage-wise, and I know that Weapon Master is better damage-wise, but for the plans that I have for this account, for the 6 Jed challenge, for the Inferno, for so many things, I feel like Soul Stealer, man. The amount of things you can just simply do with this is phenomenal. Like the combat achievement tasks, the infinitely long Vorkath runs, the, like everything. This is going to be nice. And of course, I do have the banker's note and I can unnote an unlimited amount of food and unnote unlimited amount of potions, but there is just something about having a relic like that. I just can't skip on it and I'm gonna select it. I'm going. I don't care. And on top of that, we're also getting the XP multiplier up to 16x and minigame points are now rewarding us 8x. So this is it. This is my choice. I am picking Soul Stealer, and I really think there is no wrong option uh, when it comes to the seventh tier of Relic. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we're gonna be ending today's episode. I really do hope you guys did enjoy. It's a lengthy one, it was a busy one. We got so much done, and uh, I'm very excited for the future of the leagues because now the game actually begins.